Hey everyone, welcome to Wine and Real Estate. So we're live at uh, by Chad C's Cairns in Prince Edward County and we just harvested some grapes. It was lots of fun, uh, lots of work, very manual labor. It's kind of like uh, real estate, would you say, Jennifer? Yes, because uh, you have to work hard for the harvest. So uh, we've been working hard here uh, doing which grape was it again? Uh, this one was Javutstraminer. I can't pronounce it properly. Yeah, so, so it's it a was, white wine. Yeah, but it was very difficult because um, each uh, group of grapes had uh, lots of ones that were uh, not good anymore. So you had to kind of remove the, the grapes that weren't good. Um, there was bugs, so you had yeah. to remove the bugs. So it's kind of a laborious uh, work. <laughs> kind of like when you're you're shopping for properties, you're looking at different places. And you have to go through all kinds of listings and you find some good ones and some bad ones. <laughs> and you have to go through all the analysis, you have to find good partners. So it's a lot of work uh, investing in real estate and also uh, making good wine. And we found out something interesting. So some of it, some of the grapes were rotten, but they're actually good, good mold, good rot. So kind of like buildings, sometimes you find a place and it still has a good bones. It's got potential to create something else. So it's, yeah, it's, it's rotten, but you can fix it. So I guess some of the grapes are sweeter when they're rotten. Yeah, so they, they were kind of explaining us the difference between good rot and bad rot. So it was very interesting. Jennifer <laughs> almost got to taste some rotten grapes, but she declined. <laughs> I oh was my offered, goodness. I decided not to go for that one, but that's okay. <laughs> yes. So yeah, that's it. So if you guys have the chance uh, to participate in a harvest like this, where we were part of the Harvest Brigade, Lots of fun. It's a free event. You go and help. You do about four or five hours of grape picking. It's, uh, it hurts your back. <laughs> and your knees. <laughs> yes, but it's fun and you get to taste some grapes. And, and it's a beautiful fall day. Just have a look, guys, quickly. Uh, yeah, so I'll go around with the camera. So as you can see behind me, we've got how many acres? 14 acres of grapes. Uh, so we have Javut Straminer and I think I heard Merlot. So maybe some Merlot, there's some beautiful barns, uh, so there's some, um, and there's even a cemetery, so it's kind of neat. <laughs> anyway, so lots of potential, great property, great location, right by Lake Ontario. Um, yeah, and we can't wait to taste the wine in a few minutes, so we're just hanging out, enjoying the beautiful fall day. It is a bit cloudy, but of course it's uh, still quite nice, not too cold. No, it's a nice fall day. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not sure what we're going to be drinking. So a lot of local wines. There's a lot of Pinot Noir and Bacot Noir. Chardonnay. Chardonnay, yes. And we picked up our rosé here in the summer. So looking forward to that. So till the next time, take care. Ciao. Santé.